my channel I have another exciting package let me, let me move this up there we go I have a package from Innocent Dreams again uh, I did a review on their teddy bear peekaboo dress a few weeks ago a few months ago I can't remember um, but a lovely friend of mine placed an order for me of some things and they finally arrived today they arrived in this I paid extra for first class shipping and it arrived the day after it was shipped so that's really cool I should go get some scissors to open it because it's packaged with a lot of tape okay I've got scissors it was quite a big order well it wasn't that big I only ordered a few things but um it came up to just over 80 with shipping um they're a UK store so I didn't have to pay like worldwide shipping or anything shipping was four pounds oh my gosh this is so exciting I got two items of clothing and I got oh no is something missing oh no they're there and I got three accessories so I'll show you the accessories first starting with the smallest I got more of the handmade bows these ones are blue ones because one of the items of clothing I bought was blue so I got these to go with it these were three pounds and they're the rainbow raindrop ones I got this super cute mini mouse bib it's got mini on that side and it's got a star dimple fabric on this side and it ties around the neck with that oh my god that's so cute and then all the little accessories come in small bags as well which is really cool and then the final accessory I got was this converted dummy pacifier with a little bee on it and it's got an adult um, sucky bit on it. it this is one of the man ones I believe but it's been I don't I think it's one of the man ones but it's been swapped to an adult size one this was six pounds the bows were three pound and I think the bib was 12.99 I can't remember but these are completely handmade like this is sewn themselves which is really cool okay I'll show you the main things this is one of them I can't get into it there we go so this one is a super cute overalls dress uh, it's uh, baby blue and it's got two massive white buttons and then the skirt on the bottom I'll try these on in a minute so you can get a better look but I'll just show you like this for now I got that which was 25 I think I think the overall dress is £25. Oh, I thought they sent me an XL then. I've all, I'm a size 14 and I've all, I always get a medium from um, Innocent Dreams. But it's got like a little size label on there and I thought it said XL. I panicked. And then this is the same dress i got before but the pink cat version so it's got the pan collar and the white buttons and the white waistband it's got the princess sleeves and then it has this adorable kitty patch on the bottom and it's a onesie underneath like last time with the same lace and the collar on the back has little kitty ears oh now i have both dresses this dress was 29.99 um which is a bit more than I'd pay for one dress normally but the quality of it and just how cute it is it's worth the money um, so I will go and try the dresses on and I'll get back to you in a minute so I don't have enough room to show you a full body shot this is the best I can do this is a bit loose because I've not crossed the straps over at the back like it's meant to be I need to figure out how to do that but this is the overall dress I'll show you the length it goes like that it's not super long but it's also not too short 
it's a great length. I'll be wearing this with a plain pink onesie. This is actually my ballet leotard because my onesie is put away. But yeah, I think this will look really cute with most of my onesies actually. It's really good quality. The fabric's not as thick as the dresses. It's definitely thinner fabric. But that's okay. It's still really good quality. It's really comfortable. It's stretchy both ways. More side stretch than vertical stretch. But it is still stretchy. And I'm a 14. I'd say this would fit up to a size 16. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. This is so cute. And this is... I can't get back far enough. This is the kitty dress. I'll pull it up a bit so you can see the patch. Um, this is longer than the bear dress that they had, which is a good thing. Um, because two things I said previously was about the snaps and... Um, what's I say? The snaps and the length. So this, is, this dress is better than the last one. They're the same quality and stuff, it's just the snaps and the length are different. It's got the cutest little kitty and it's got the ruffle bum, which is really, really cute. Two buttons here and the collar and the collar has a lace trim all the way around the edge. I believe this trim is different to the trim on the yellow dress. I might do a video comparing the two dresses and the sleeves are puffy like last time with white trim on the sleeves and the white waistband oh my goodness i love it i love it so much this is so cute oh my god i'm afraid i don't have room to show you like a full outfit picture my flat is really really small um so i can't put my camera equipment far back enough to show you Oh, I'm so happy. These outfits are so cute. And also, the dummy, I've given it a wipe. <laughs> it's a lot smaller than an adult sized one. Oh, I thought I had one to compare. Okay, this is the baby sized one and this is the adult one. So there is quite a difference in size. They're the same, but yeah. I am very, oh, I forgot to brush my fringe down for the video, I think. I am very, very happy with the stuff I've got. Um, oh my God, my hair. Oh, um, Innocent Dreams never disappoint. Their quality is amazing. They are probably my favorite little clothing store like even more than onesie shops and stuff i'm just so impressed by the quality and the owner and i just love them so so much and i can't my hair i can't recommend them enough uh, if you're in the uk definitely order from them like all right 30 quid might be a lot to spend on a casual dress but the quality is so worth it and it supports one of my favorite youtubers as well which is really cool. I'll show you the bib, what it looks like on. So I've not tried the bib on yet. Oh my god, that is so cute! It's the perfect size. I hate the really huge adult bibs. But this is just the right size. Oh, I love it. The fabric's really soft and it's slightly stretchy. Which is cool. Oh, look at it. And this bit on my skin is really soft. I suppose you could have it reversible, but I wouldn't want to risk staining the white dimple fabric. Especially as I know how expensive dimple fabric is as well. I've not tried the bows today because that's for when I have like plaits and the little ponytails on top of my head and stuff. So I won't be trying these, but I'm sure you'll see them on my Instagram soon. Um... I will give a quick rating of all my stuff because in all my reviews I always do that. So the blue overall dress I would give, um, I'd give it an 8 out of 10 because the fabric is thinner than the other dresses. 
um, and I think the straps might be a tiny little bit big for me, which is fine because all, all I'll need to do is make another buttonhole so it's a little bit tighter, so I've not got a problem with that, that's fine. But because of that, I will give that one an 8. This pink dress I'm wearing right now, 10 out of 10 easily. I'm happy that it's longer than the last one because when I wear my yellow one, I'm worried about the wind blowing and stuff. Even though it's got the onesie bottom, people are still going to be a bit like at me if it goes up. Um, but this one's longer, so I'm not going to have that issue. The bib, 10 out of 10. The bows, um... The bows I'd give an 8 out of 10 because, like I said in my previous one, I'm worried that they'll come undone. And even though they can be redone, I, I'm worried I won't be able to do it the same as this. I did speak to Innocent Dreams about the bows and she did say, oh is this one sewn in place? I don't know. She did say that they won't come undone, so hopefully they won't. I trust her, but I do have that concern. Just because I like them so much and I'm worried I'll ruin them. It's nothing to do with the shop at all. That's my own fault. Um, but yeah, I can't remember if I did the dummy. So the dummy also gets a 10 out of 10. Is that everything? Yeah, I think it was. Like I said, highly recommend them. Go check them out. I'll put a link to everything below. Um, I don't think they've got any more of the bibs. I believe they only had one in stock. Same with the bee dummy and the bows. I think I got the last ones of each one. I'll check though, and if there's more, I'll link them below. And I'll definitely link the dresses below because they have got those in. Um, I will say about this dress, they are very stretchy. Um, normally I'd be a large, but I get a medium in these, and to be honest, I think I'd fit a small. Like it would be tighter, but I do think I'd fit into it because I have room in this dress. Um, but I'll get a medium because I know it's comfortable, but I do think even at my size I'd fit the small, which is cool. I looked at the, um, measurements chart when I bought the yellow dress, and according to the measurements on that, I would have been an extra large, but I thought, hang on, I'm a medium in onesies, so I messaged the, the store on Instagram, and she did say, if I'm a medium in onesies, then get a medium in the dress. So I'm not saying ignore the size chart, I'm just saying think about your onesie size, and try and judge it based on that because the sizings are really good and it makes me feel good about myself as well only being a medium and possibly a small that makes me feel really good so yeah oh my god i just realized the lace trim has pink edges oh that is so cute but yeah i'm so happy thank you so much innocent james and thank you so much to my friendship for ordering me these things i am pleased as punch so thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.